everyone, I am Dr. Gina Heathcote and I wanted to get in touch to tell you uh, a little bit more about the International Law Summer School at SOAS, which we're going to host this year for the first time online uh, over two weeks. Um, bit of a pity not to see you in London, but we hope that through making it online uh, that more people in more places will be able to join us on the summer school, which is always international in terms of uh, participants as well as our focus on international law. So the way the course uh, will operate is you'll have a morning lecture, um, some online forums to work through, a daily tutorial, uh, and then a kind of closing lecture from me. In the first week, what I want to do is go through the foundations of international law, both in terms of concepts such as uh, sources, statehood, uh, international uh, subjects, and also thinking about perhaps a little bit of an introduction to international human rights law, um, while also introducing you to the kinds of theoretical approaches that we undertake and that we kind of prioritise at SOAS. Uh, new approaches to international law, kind of critical legal voices, as well as uh, twail um, and post-colonial uh, thinking and how it informs kind of contemporary cutting edge um, alternatives to the mainstream of international law. And that's really by prioritizing empire and histories of colonialism as a mechanism to understand uh, how power operates uh, in the international legal structures, while still hoping that you're going to get the foundations of the discipline through the course. In the second week, we're going to focus a little bit more on the sub-disciplines of international law, collective security, international humanitarian law, uh, law and the use of force, self-determination, some introduction to some kind of cutting edge and new topics in the in international law as well as new scholarship around objects and history in international law. I hope that quite a lot of my colleagues will be joining me and uh, giving some guest lectures, perhaps uh, providing some insight uh, into the stories behind uh, some of the kind of some recent uh, cases at the International Court of Justice. So I hope uh, this has piqued your interest and you're going to come and join us at SOAS virtually for our first uh, international law online summer school. See you there.